Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Bridge and Clear gameplay. We are playing the missions in Russia and we are arriving at the final mission, mission 5, called Operation Kingpin. We will be playing on hard and this time I will actually be using a UAV because it is the last mission and they are usually quite hard so and just by having a look at the small picture here i can see that it's going to be a lot of close quarter combat and a lot of places to hide and rooms to clear so i want to use the uav just because of that so the mission description it is as follows the Russian separatists are attempting to destroy this vital research station. Clear them out before they can make good their plans. We should probably make good on their plans. But anyway, the message is clear. So, let's uh, try to deal with this uh, separatists and hunt them down. Alright, so here's the UAV. Oh, quite a lot of guys already. Whoa, that is a lot of enemies. A lot. So, let's see. There is a big guy with a shotgun. You're going to have to be careful with him. Uh, they are armor, but not shotguns at least. Is there any other guy? Nope. A little bit of armor and stuff, but that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, th this isn't too bad. Um, it's uh, that guy that's... He's going to be the largest problem. And... I'm going to have to make sure that I have at least uh, one frag grenade and preferably one flashbang as well left over to be able to deal with this room. If I don't actually go ahead and just deal with it right at start, that's actually one way to do it and then just clear the rest out after that. That is actually a viable option. As long as I get the breacher to this door so that he's able to throw a frag grenade up here. And I need to have at least one guy securing this area up here. But that's not too hard to spare. I can probably use the medic uh, even. Yeah, I, I, I've. I think I might actually go for that. Didn't really consider that at first. Was thinking about going for A, but I think I'm going to go uh, C. And I will be using a breaching shard, so if I don't kill that son of a bitch... Or no, wait, I won't use that, because that might draw attention. So I will be using a lockpick, just because I can. Uh, sending these guys in. Uh, let's go. Team stack up. So let's see here. First of all, where is Moss? Moss is the second one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Done. Consider it done. Got it. 
I think I might actually switch places on them so that he will continue up here keeping this area secure on it on it So that leaves Johnson. Yeah, that's look that, that looks about right. No, it doesn't. Yes, sir. Moss is there. Yes, sir. The villa's there. Done. Morton's have to move up here. That's better. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, see how it turns out. So let's breach. Roger. Consider it done. Let's see. I need to get away from that guy now, so if I sprint up here and then back down here, that should do. That guy is probably going to exit, and for hopefully, some of these guys are going to move over this way. Let's see, that is a possibility of entry as well, so let's Got see. It. Yeah, that's all good. So let's On see. It. Frag out. Satisfied with that? Indeed I am. No, that's the Vila. Oh well, the Vila would probably be the better choice to be honest. That way I could use Roger. Johnson. To move in that way. Done. The question is... On it. Should be clear from him stay sharp by moving like that and considering I'm going to have one guy here hopefully they won't get away from me trying to come in that way and hitting Morton in the side that is an apparent risk but it is a risk that I must take I Think so. Let's go. Done. And of course, my worst fear comes through, and he runs in. First of all, let's move him up. Davila's good where he is. Yes, sir. So, he's going to move up like that. On it. Yes, 
Roger. And Morton. Let's see, is there anyone? No, he's just peeking. So I'm good for now. I think I might actually just leave him as he is to be sure that I take that guy out. I think that might be a good option. And let's have a look at the Vila. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's doing quite all right. He has a good field of fire. He has three people he can shoot at, so that's good. Hopefully Johnson can move up and dispatch of these guys. So let's go. Uh, up here is the most interesting part, so let's have a look. So we took out yet another guy. One guy is actually advancing on the Vila, so he's going to be killed really yes, soon. Sir. And I'm going to take this guy out from behind. Uh, Davila is taking care of that guy. Roger. Moss is going to have to move up here. Then move to yes, that sir. location. Let's use the sprint. Move him up there. It's a little bit of a risk with this guy. I don't know where he's going. He has moved since last turn, so let's hope the Vila can handle himself and let's have a look at this area first. So let's go. Davila obviously dealt with that guy. And we dealt with that guy as well. So that's really nice. Taking care of them one by one. Uh, Johnson even took out this guy, so that's really nice. So let's see where do I have to move? I do want to cover. Do it like that. Should work out. Got it. Let's move Moss around to that location. Consider uh, it Morton is there. Let's see how much HP he has. Three bars. He's moving back again up here, so he's not a concern at the moment. So I should be able to move over there. Uh, should be good. Keeping fire on them at all time, so the Vila is probably going to take out another guy here, I believe. At least I hope so. So let's go. So let's see. Didn't did not get a kill on any of those guys but I will next turn I believe uh, oh. so first of all Moss needs to move again so he doesn't get taken out by that friggin sniper so we'll move him up here and Davila took out that guy let's see if it's out really well done and Johnson even managed to take this guy by surprise Sweet! Really, really nice. On it. So let's see. Yeah, he's visible there. That's not good. So if I can do it like that, perhaps. And Davila is doing his thing over there. Moss is going to move. Yeah, I think that's everything that I'm going to have to do, actually. I don't think there's any other moves to be made at the moment. Roger. Uh... Yeah, let's go. Cool. 
So I managed to take out yet another guy back there. That's really good that he came through there. And let's see what happened over here. Oh, wait. So let's go. Alright. So that means I can move Moss up here because I'm going to need him to get a better angle on that guy and be able to shoot in there. Done. And let's ah, massive amount of clicks. Uh, I'll sprint him down here like that so I can take that guy out and move up this way. Moss should ideally move this way. But I feel I need to take that guy out because he's in a bit of cover here. So he's going to be hard to take out. So I might need to get up behind him. And uh, these guys as well. If I just take that guy out, this guy is going to get killed easily. So. And Roger. Johnson, he's in good cover. So uh, no reason really to move him. No. Going to let him be as is. So let's go. Yes, sir. actually managed to take that guy out, so that was really good. Uh, that guy moved out, out, so that's a bit of a surprise. Check your corners. So I don't know what I want to do now really. Got it. Morton, he needs to move obviously. But the thing is... It's probably better to run him around and try to get him in the back Stay and just shot. follow through with my plan to take that guy out. And Johnson will keep him up occupied. He has taken a few bars of health off him and his armor I believe. So, And I still got good health on all my guys so uh, right. yeah he's staying. So yeah that's about it. Oh great, I got that guy. Uh, let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, easy kill from that location. So now I'm going to move one guy up that way. And Moss is going to move up this way. Yes, sir. Morton is going to take that guy out. And yes, Johnson sir. is still battling it out in that dark alley. So let's go. Yeah. That guy got killed easily. So let's see. Johnson is still keeping that guy suppressed. So. Let's see, how far out do I need to move to be able to shoot at him? Was I able to... oops. Not from that location. Can't I hit him from that either, location either? I think that's going to be good enough. Stay shut. So, let's see, I'm running this way. Consider it done. Uh, Morton... Is running even faster, so let's just move him over there. Roger. Moss can just move. Just to I don't know if I can o I can open that door, but I want to check that room just to be sure. So yeah, that's about it. On it. Let's go. On it. Move it. Keeping him even more suppressed. So Done. that's why I'm checking out that area. And now let's see, how do I move to get up behind him? That's the way to go. So let's go that way around so I won't get spotted. And that should be it. 
yes, should sir. probably move up to check this room. Doesn't seem like there can be anything in there though. So let's just scrap that idea and keep him there. And that's everyone, right? One, two, three, four. yeah, let's go. All clear. And surprise, motherfucker! And only three stars. That makes me sad. Why? Wasn't I fast enough or something? That must have been it. Because I hardly took any damage at all. And I only used one grenade. I expected to use a lot of grenades. Under a minute. And for the last mission. In Russia and still. Oh well. So level up on two guys. That's nice. So, I will be using the accuracy because critical shots are always nice, to be honest. And let's make him even harder to kill. Like that. And. That's all there is for this time around, so stay tuned for some more Breach and Clear gameplay, and as always, have a good day.